I asked her where she lived and everything. She said she doesn't live around here and she was living at the park. So I decided to take a walk home and try to figure things out. I, I told Ashlyn, you know, my name's Tori. We'll hang out some other time, okay? Just, just be okay. freshman at EPCC. A couple of summers ago, I was being dropped off at a nearby park for my first date to meet my date there. A couple hours went by and he didn't show up. So I just sat in the shade of a tree waiting and waiting and a little girl was there. She came up to me and she said, do you want to you wanna play? And I said, okay. She came back with some water balloons and I was like, oh heck yeah, this is gonna be fun. Cause my date's not showing up anymore. I don't care if I get all wet and dirty. And we throw water balloons and we play and stuff. And the water balloons quickly ran out. So we started, you know, to talk and stuff. And then she started to do a dance on a pole. And she was like, my daddy taught me. And that, that threw me off. Then she started to tell me more stuff. I asked her where she lived and everything. She said she doesn't live around here and she was living at the park. She was actually sleeping at the park in a nearby tree. And I looked at the tree she pointed to and it had blankets and a backpack. And I was asking her what she was doing there at the park. She said her mother beats her and her father isn't there, so she ran away. And she lifted up her shirt part way and she showed me some bruises and said her mom hit her there. And I and I was really concerned. And she went to her backpack to get some food and she only had like two pieces of quiche left. So we went to a nearby store and we went there and I got her a six pack of water, some fruit snacks and other food to last her a little bit. By then my date still sh hadn't shown up and it was getting incredibly late. So I decided to take a walk home and try to figure things out. I, I told Ashlyn, y you know, my name's Tori. We'll hang out some other time, okay? Just, just be okay. But instead of walking home, I went to my friend's house. And I told her parents and her what had just happened at the park. So we went back, we walked back to the park looking for her and we couldn't find her. So we went around the neighborhood, knocking on doors, asking if anyone had seen her. When I got home later that night, my friend's aunt called and said they were looking for Ashlyn and they, they had found her and they tried to give her a sandwich, but she ran away. Eventually, they, they caught up to her and they said, we're friends of Tori. And she stopped and came up to them and everything was okay. At that point, the police were called and they took Ashlyn away. I, I haven't heard anything about Ashlyn or the case or anything like that ever since that day two summers ago. There, there was nothing else I can do. She, she needed to get home because she is a little kid and I honestly do not know if she was telling the truth or not. When I called, I knew they would at least ask the parents some questions and they would look into it. So I believe it was the right thing to do. Thank you. 